Whoa! Time for a package from China. Welcome to the Wicked Gamer and Collector. Welcome back to the YouTube channel, guys. So in today's video, it's time for the mini arcade game. This is an all-in-one plug-and-play mini arcade machine. I did some reviews about, let's say, similar products, but this one has 600 games built in. Very curious, it does it have 8-bit games. We're going to find out here. So this supports an external handle. Pretty cool, so this means you can plug it into your television, or I'm guessing you plug it in your television, and you can use it like a game system. That's pretty cool, pretty cool. All right, let's see what we have here. This product cannot be washable or soaked, so keep in mind, don't put it in the dishwasher. Mm -hmm. Let's see what comes inside. We're having the console. One piece, user manual, if you out cable, USB cable, and one gamepad. Let's see what we're going to get. Okay, let's see. Let's take a close look inside the box. It comes with, oh my god, no. Oh, these are these cheap, horrible, flimsy controllers that you could, that you mostly get with these clone systems. Oh, very important, the smelly chemical test. Oh, yeah, chemical plastic. All right, so we have rubbery buttons, clicks at the top. Oh, very sturdy, not bad at all. A very long, flimsy cable with, yes, a micro USB. So that is pretty unique, if you ask me. If you out cable, so we're having two and a half inch jack over here and hmm, one for signal. That's very old. If you out. Micro USB cable, I'm guessing it's for charging. And here is the system itself. Where is the manual? Ah, there it is. And let's see. Whoa, this is what we call the most basic toilet paper manual I have ever seen. That's it. Piece of flimsy paper, toilet paper. That's it. Yeah, okay. Thank you. Thanks for your purchase. Playing Vision Portable. What the hell is a Vision Portable? Playing Vision Portable product. I'm guessing this is the brand, the name of the brand or something. Designed for many hours of game playing, playing -ing fun. This product is small and portable. Yeah, right. You get the point. Whatever. Horrible English or Shinglish, what do you call it? All right, so here's the system itself. Uh, they sent me the red and black one. I really love this color combination. Let me know what you think, or do you prefer more like the white and the blue version? We'd love to know. All right, so let's see. Hmm. It has an analog stick, so it's not like a real arcade stick. Hmm. <laughs> All right, so let's see the analog stick. We're having A, B, X, and Y. I'm guessing these are the turbo buttons. Uh, and we can see that the camera we've reset, select start, um, we're having volume control over here, DC 5 volt. So you're using this port for charging and for the controller. TV out, on and off switch, nothing here, speakers at the bottom. And we're having the Nokia battery, the BL5C. Very cool, very convenient that they are using this in the system. Because if you want a bigger one or replace it, very easy and cheap to find. All right, so oh, this is an 8 bit system and it's naughty, a naughty game list. Super Mario 1, 2, 3. Oh my god, they have done it. These are, these are hack version. Mario. They're all basically all Mario games, the first page. Kamikaze 2, Kamikaze 3, Angry Mario. Oh my god, there are a lot of homebrew games on this thing. Hmm, still far so good. A little bit shame they cut it off so you don't know what version it is. I'm guessing this 1, 2, and 3 or something like this. Or the Combat 1 is on it. Okay, so what I can appreciate with this thing that it has a lot of good games. A lot of homebrew games. So if you like the homebrew games, this your mini arcade is not bad at all. Mario in space. Damn, this list is freaking huge. Look at this. And there are still no double games on it.
I think I can stop now or nope still a lot of games yeah here we have double games yeah you have double games but still there are a lot of good games in this thing Ooh, they are so naughty so I just wanted to show you something and the reason why is not everything comes in perfectly as for example this one this one has a big quality issue if you turn the screen like this you can see this LED over here so this is the backlight they're using <laughs> they messed it up they didn't assemble the system correctly so this is a really big bummer so this happens also with me so if you have any problems yeah I have it too okay let's try some homebrew games people because I'm very curious what are we going to get very curious what we're going to get I'm already stuck. What is this for game? What the hell is this? I'm guessing this is more like a challenging, ver ver high difficulty challenging version or something. Okay, well, let's try it again. At first, let's. Oh crap. Hey, what oh! Um. So they put basically every freaking heck you can find on this thing. We have a Mario with a turtle. It's glitching out. It's glitching out big time, my yeah. I must say, we have a small dead zone in the joystick. It's not bad at all. Very responsive. Hmm. You've even Dragon Ball Z on this thing. I have never seen. I didn't even know there was a game from Dragon Ball Z on the NES. I, by the way, never seen this on this. All right, let's test the second controller. If this works like it should be. Versus player. All right. Oh yeah. All right. Ah, cool. So, there are some games. I don't know what kind of games you have more. I don't know if the arcade version is all about. That's really cool that you can play. Yeah, the controller. You don't want to try moves with this thing, but it works decent. All right, let's test another game. Can I press start? Yeah, cool. Even with a homebrew game, it works. So this is Mortal Kombat 4 for the NES. Yeah, right. I choose Night War, but I look like Shokan. Okay, what I don't like about it because the if you cable is pretty short, so. You need to be very close to the television. Okay, so let's play some games on the television. I must say I'm using this 90 inch screen and it looks not very bad. Okay, let's play some games people. Let's play some games. We have in the game Small Mario. This has serious nothing to do with the freaking Mario game. All right, cool. So it has the okay game. Of turtles, 48 bits. So what I know of some of the glitches you see on the screen are just normal. Of course you can play this game together. Balloon Mario! Oh yeah. Oh 
Oh yeah, we have throw buttons. Let's see how they're working. Oh, we're fine. Turbo kicking and punching. Mm -mm -mm. Alright, so for the final conclusion regarding the mini arcade room game, it's an 8-bit system, um, it's not very cheap, the joystick itself, it plays very nice. It's a collection of very naughty games <laughs> and a lot of homebrew games. So that's not bad at all, the EVL function it seems to be working fine, even the two-player function works fine. And the signal output, not bad at all. So yeah, let me know what you think of this, I'd really love to know, well, thank you for watching. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel, hit the little bell, and see you next time. Bye bye. <gasps> Before I forget, don't forget to check out the Wicked Gaming channel. <laughs>